everyone. Today I have a body weight only uh, build a combo class for you that focuses on upper body and core. Now, because Pilates is such an effective way to utilize our body weight, there is admit admittedly a touch of Pilates throughout this build a combo class, okay? Um, just like always, we'll start with a guided warm up and finish with a guided cool down, and we're gonna do four different combos today. We gradually build up to a three part exercise combination over a brief interval of time. It'll be 90 seconds to two minutes long, depending on the combo. Once you complete that build up, you rest before repeating. And I will give you a preview of the combo before each one. Um, so if that sounds confusing, don't worry. I will guide you through it as we go. Our warm up is going to lead us right into our first combo. So I want to give you a preview of that now before we warm up. So it's going to be side body focus. We are going to start with a side bend. So you start in this sort of open leg position with your hips down on the mat and then pushing in that top hand, you arc your hips up coming into a side plank. From there, we're going to add in kind of a thread the needle. So you're going to twist, reaching your hand towards your ankles, and you're going to open back up into the side plank. The final add-on will be a crunch of that top knee. So you'll lift the foot off of the mat, crunching it in, tapping hand to knee, reverse it back to start. And the final 15 seconds, we hold that side plank and it's just that knee tap. So we're going to do that one four times. The rest of the combos, we just do three times, but this is unilateral. So we will alternate right, left, right, left. All right, store that in the back of your mind for later. Let's get into our warm up. We're going to start in tabletop today. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And let's start with a cat cow. So as you inhale, we're gonna find spinal extension. And as you exhale, you're gonna round the spine up towards the ceiling, finding spinal flexion. Really push the, your hands into the mat, kind of separating your shoulder blades, filling that space between them. We inhale through the nose. And we exhale slowly out through the mouth. Give me one more. So then from here, I want you to elongate the spine through neutral, and we're gonna come into a fluid thread the needle. So we can start by taking our left elbow up towards the ceiling and twist open to the left, and then we're gonna exhale, thread it through the right, bringing cheek to mat. We inhale, open twist. We exhale, close it. One more this side. Come through center and then we'll take it over to the other side. So inhale, right elbow up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it as you bend the left cheek to mat. Inhale, open. One more. And then I want you to come through tabletop and tuck your toes under. So we're going to fire up through the core. We're moving with our breath so it's slow. Inhale to prepare. And then as you exhale, I want you to gently brace to the core and lift your knees up to a two inch hover. As you inhale, you lower those knees back down. We exhale, brace, lift to a bear plank. Inhale, lower those knees back down. This next one you're gonna hold. So you exhale, lift those knees to a hover, and then I want you to start to retract and protract the scapula. So they're gliding in towards each other, and then they glide wide. This is called a serratus push-up because it targets the serratus anterior muscle, which is very important for initiating push-ups. And we will see push-ups later on. So you wanna start with this gliding motion. Your arms are staying straight, your spine is staying neutral. It's just your shoulder blades gliding across your back. Give me two more. One more, and then knees come down and tuck the toes. So we're gonna do a hip hinge with an arm sweep, adding in some tricep work. So sweep the arms back in your hinge and then give me a tricep kick back, bending the elbows, straightening them. Now as we come up to a full kneel, the arms sweep overhead, and we're gonna rotate, patting ourselves on the back, bending the elbows, straighten the arms, sweep and hinge, tricep kick back. So we're doing that bend and straighten of the elbows at the top and at the bottom in the hinge. If you mess up the combo, no big deal. We'll hold in the hinge position up next. So after your final tricep kickback, pause in the hinge position and just trace arm circles. They're going up, out, and around. Switch direction of the circles. Last one. 
And then I want you to flip your palms in towards each other, and we're gonna finish our warm up with a reverse fly. So your arms are opening up and closing. So think back to the bear plank retraction, protraction we were doing, and we're doing that same retraction, the scapula gliding in towards each other. We're gonna come into our first combo, that side body series, in three, two, one. So you're gonna mirror me, and we're gonna start with the right arm as our base arm. So you're going to set up with your ankles crossed. Your left foot is in front of the right and you don't want them in too close to you. You wanna send the legs long because we will lift up into that side plank position. Now your wrist, your right wrist should be in line with your ankles, okay? So we're gonna start the first 15 seconds. We move from this position seated up into that side bend, sweeping the left arm up and over as we go. Now you wanna make sure you're really stable through the shoulder. So you're gonna initiate that sweep up by pushing away, okay? Notice I'm really active here. This is a 90 second combo, let's go. So we lift up the legs, come in together, almost think about making a rainbow shape with your body, and then we sit it back down. We exhale, we side bend up. We inhale the lower. All right, now we're gonna add in that thread the needle. So from the top, you're gonna kind of pike the hips up and you're gonna reach this left hand towards your legs. You're gonna open back up, you open up through the knees as you lower down. We lift, reach and twist. Open back up, bend the knees to lower. So the final add-on will be a top crunch. So that left knee will crunch in. Let's add it in. So after you do that twist and pike, you're gonna lift the left knee up, crunch it in, left hand taps it. Return it in that cross position, bend through the knees, lift up, twist, come to your side plank, knee crunches in. I know this is a lot for the bottom wrist, which is why this is just a 90 second combo. Final 15 will just be the crunch in and out. Let's go. So from your side plank position, left knee crunches in and goes long. If possible, keep it at a hover the whole time. Otherwise, you can absolutely return it to the mat in between crunches. And rest. So you have 30 seconds here. We'll switch over to the other side. You can roll out through that right wrist. We'll do the same thing on the left. So this first one focusing on obliques, but on a lot on shoulder stability. So spread out through the left hand now, cross the ankles, right in front of the left, not in too close to you, ankles in line with wrists. We'll start with that side bend. Again, push the floor away. Let's go, we lift up, open through the knees and back down. We'll add in that pike with that kind of thread the needle, reaching this right arm back towards our ankles. Add it in, so you come up. And now the hips lift up as you rotate through the torso. Reach, open back up, open through the knees to lower. Top crunch is added in next. Add it in. So from your side plank, right knee crunches in, right hand taps it. Return it. Lower down. You lift it up. You twist and pike. Side plank. Top crunch. Final 15 will just be that top crunch. Let's go just the top crunch. So in your side plank position, right knee crunches in and goes long. Maybe do a hover. Maybe you tap to the floor in between. Don't roll open through the hips. So pull that top right hip forward a little bit oh, and rest. Okay, we're at the halfway point. One more time each side. You have 30 seconds to rest here. We'll go back to having that bottom right shoulder as our support. This is the only, co only combo you do four sets of, the rest are three, so we'll go by quick. So spread out through the right hand, cross the ankles, again, left in front of right, that's important. Ankles 
wrists in line with each other. And we lift up into that side plank and we lower down. So as I bend the knees, I'm kind of sliding my hips down towards them to lower. And then I come up. Add in that kind of thread the needle. So the hips pike up, your arm reaches back. Add in your top crunch, left knee, left hand. Final 15 will just be that top crunch. Let's go, just the top crunch. Almost done with this side. Oh, and done. All right, 30 seconds to rest. Okay, we just gotta do it one more time on the left, and then you get a new combo. New combo will not be as much pressure on our wrists. We'll start mixing in some crunch work. I purposely did this one first when our wrists were fresh because I know that it is a lot on them, okay? All right, so let's get in that position, right cross in front of left. You're mirroring me. 90 seconds of work, you got it. Go. We lift up and lower down. Add in that thread the needle, you lift up, you reach the arm back as the hips pike up and you rotate your chest. Back open and lower. Add in your top crunch, right knee to right hand, right foot crosses in front of left, lower down. Come on, you have 30 seconds of work to go. You can do it. All right, final 15, just that top crunch, let's go. And done, awesome work. You have a full minute to recover, I'm gonna show you combo number two. Triceps and core are gonna be the focus of this one. It's two minutes long instead of 90 seconds, but we only do it three times. First up, it's gonna be tricep dips. And then from there, we are going to add in a hollow hold. So we'll lower down, arms and legs extend out. From there, we add in a V-sit crunch. So you bring legs and chest up into that V-shape, back to your hollow hold, start from the top. Now watch your modification. If you need some assistance during that V-sit and those crunches, keep your hands on the mat. So you would do your tricep dip, and then you would keep your hands on the ground as you reach the legs out. And you can also keep them on the ground when you do that crunch, okay? So that is going to help support you. You can do that at any point if you need to modify. All right, three times through, let's do it. So to get into position, start seated, spread out through your hands, hands are under shoulders, and then this is important. You need to think of wrapping your triceps back so the creases of your elbows point forward, and then we bring our bum to a hover, and we're gonna start with tricep dips. So when you bend the elbows, start, they go straight back. Now we're really pushing the floor away, staying open across our collarbones so that we don't let our shoulder heads roll forward. We will add in that hollow hold up next, lowering our bum to the floor, reaching arms and legs forward. Let's go, so lower down, 
hollow hold. My upper shoulder blades are off the mat. Come back up to our starting position. Lift your bum to a hover. Give me two tricep dips. And then we lower down, hollow hold. Upper shoulder blades, head, neck, and shoulders. Stay in that crunch position. Two dips, lower, and reach. We'll add in that V-sit crunch up next. Add it in. So you lower to your hollow hold. Exhale, lift the legs, lift the chest, V-sit. Lower back down, come into your starting position. Again, shoulders aren't rolling forward, so you gotta think open chest here. Two tricep dips, hollow hold, V-sit crunch. Again, you can keep your hands on the mat behind you for support. Great modification. The last 20 seconds will just be that V-sit crunch. Let's go, just the V-sit crunch. Down and up. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. If straight legs is too much, do bent knees in and out like that, it's slightly easier. Woo. And rest, take 30 seconds, you can butterfly the knees. Hip flexors are working with your core here, so you'll definitely feel them talking to you as well. When we're doing the crunches, when you're at the bottom in that hollow hold, think about keeping a gentle nod of the chin, and that's gonna help prevent strain through your neck. So your gaze is at your knees, it's not up towards the ceiling. All right, let's get into position. Hands under shoulders, wrap the triceps back so your scapula kind of sliding down your back so that we're open through the chest. Bum and a hover, and let's go, tricep dips. If bum and a hover is too much, you can do it with your butt down and just do the tricep press from there. We'll add in that hollow hold, keeping two of these tricep dips. Add it in, hollow hold, up to our starting position, two dips. I'm doing this with legs together, FYI. Add in that V-sit crunch. And a note about that V-sit crunch, it's gonna present different challenges depending on your proportions. So if you are someone whose legs are way longer than your torso, you might find it's really hard to get the legs up. That's normal and that's fine. If your torso is a lot longer than your legs, you might find that it's harder to get your torso up and you can get those legs right up to the ceiling. So all of our bodies are different. So these exercises are gonna look a little different for everyone. And that's absolutely okay. Last 20 will just be that V crunch. Let's go. Use your hands for assistance if you need them. Oh, and rest, take 30. Okay, we're gonna go through that just one more time and then we move on to a new combo. Okay, we're gonna spread out through the hands. Hands under shoulders, open through the chest but connected to your core so don't flare open and arch into your back. Bum will come to a hover, little tricep dips. Let's go. Give me two minutes of work. Elbows go straight back, not out to the side. Boop, boop. 
add in the hollow hold. Two dips lower. Add in the V-crunch. Two tricep dips. Lower to a hollow hold, gaze at the knees. Exhale, crunch it up and down. Come back in to start. Final 20 will just be that V-sit crunch. Let's go. Just the V-sit crunch, final 20. Exhale it up, gaze at the knees. Oh, and done. All right, you have a full minute to recover. I'm going to show you combo number three. All right, in this one, we got chest, we got back, we got shoulder mobility. We're going to start with push-ups from your feet or from your knees. From there, we're going to add in a lower to a prone position and a little spinal extension as you bring your hands to a hover. Final add-on, it's going to be an extension of the arms overhead as you lower back down nose to the mat and then bend the elbows, draw them back in as you come up to that extension and reverse back to your starting plank position, kneeling or full plank. This is another two minute combo and we do it three times. Let's go. All right, so I am working to build up my push-ups again. I kind of lost some strength there. So I'm going to start from my feet and then I will probably do them modified for the bulk of this. So spread out through your hands. Hands are shoulders distance apart, not wider. And your elbows are going to go back at a slight angle. Let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. We'll add in that lower to a prone with the extension. Add it in. So you do one push up, then you lower to prone, reach long through the crown of your head, come up and that extension, hands are at a hover. Lower down, hands return under your shoulders, press back up to full plank or modified plank. One push up. Take it to prone. Little extension. We'll add in the reach of the arms. Up next. Add it in. So we're going to reach our arms long as we lower nose to the mat and then row the elbows back, return hands under shoulders. Press back up to start. One push up, lower down, extension, lower, extension, Lower, press up. We'll finish in the prone position, just the reach and pull with the extension. Let's go. Reach, pull, come up to that extension. You're extending up through the mid back, not dumping into the lower back. So you got to brace through your core. Oh, and rest. Take 30. You can come into a shell stretch, rounding the spine up to the ceiling, flipping the palms up, getting a little flexion after all that extension. So we'll start back from the top. 
I think I'm gonna have to do this whole set knees down for my push-ups, which is fine. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Full plank or modified plank. We start with 20 seconds of push-ups. Fire through your glutes and brace through your core. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Make sure you're not hinging at the hips and just doing this and dipping your head down. That's why I cued glute engagement. Add in the lower to prone, lower all the way down. Hands to a hover, extension. Lower back down, hands to the mat. Exhale, back up to start. Add in the reach of your arms. One push up. Lower to prone. Lift. Reach and lower. Row and lift. Lower hands to the mat. Last 20 is just that reach and pull. So let's go just the reach and pull. Brace your core. Pull and lift, reach and lower. Don't crane your neck, so gaze just shifts from straight down to front edge of your mat. And rest. Oh, take 30. All right. One more set to go through. It's going to be tough. <laughs> I'm already struggling. But just two minutes of work on this one. Then get long recovery. And then we're on to our final combo. Okay, let's do this. Push-ups to start. Last time through. Modified or full plank. Length through the back of your neck, so don't let your head hang heavy. Let's go. Add in the prone, so lower all the way down. Lift, hands come to a hover, but keep them under your shoulders. And then when you lower down, think of sliding your shoulder blades down so that you have good lat engagement so that you are then able to push back up to the start. in the arm extension. So we lift up, lower and reach the arms. Lift up, draw the elbows back. Lower, hands to the mat. Exhale it up. Woo, it is getting harder and harder to get back up. We're approaching the final 20, which will just be that reach of the arms with the extension. Let's go, just the reach and pull. Oh, and rest. All right, you have a full minute to recover. I'm going to show you our fourth and final combo. 
All right, fourth and final combo. We got some plank based work. Okay, so we're gonna start with a plank to a forearm bear plank rocker. So you rock back, rock forward. If it's too much going to a bear plank, then when you come down to your forearms, lower your knees all the way down to the mat, and that'll help you get back up, okay? From there, we're gonna add in a marching plank. So from straight arms, march, march to forearms, press back up to straight arms. Final add-on in your forearm plank position, it's a knee tap. You bend the knees, tap them to the floor, stretch those legs long, bracing through the core as you do it. Last 15 seconds is just that bend and tap. So we're going back to just a 90 second combo. So this one's a little shorter, three times through, and then you're done. Let's go for it. So I like feet hips distance apart for this. I'm gonna come into my plank. And when we rock down, I want you to think back to those triceps dip, tricep dips we did in the first combo. So think of wrapping your triceps back so the creases of your elbows point forward. Let's do it. You're gonna bend the knees as you slide your hips back, lowering to your forearms. You can give me a little rock at the bottom if it helps you get back up to that high plank position. Shift it back and forward. If this is too much, then when you shift it back, do knees down, and then that'll help you get back up. It'll make it a little easier. Otherwise, knees at a hover. Add in your march. So you come to a, a straight arm, lower to forearms, press back up. We rock. Now try to alternate your lead arm every time you do the march. So you'd go right, left, right, left. And the next time, try to go left, right, left, right. We'll add in the knee tap up next when, when we are in our forearm plank. Add it in. So when you're in your forearm plank, knees tap and lift. March it back up. Rock. Final 15 will just be that knee tap. So let's go just the knee tap. Try not to pike your bum up to the ceiling. And rest, 30 seconds. Now, if you need to modify the last 15 when we're doing the knee tap, then just hold a modified forearm plank with your knees down, okay? Ooh, roll out those shoulders. Set one is done, two to go. We'll start with that rock, spread out through the hands, wrap your triceps back, plank position, bend the knees as elbows tap down, exhale, shoot it up and forward. in your march. in your knee tap. Just the knee tap to finish, forearm plank position. You could also just do one at a time if that's a little easier. Rest, oh. take 45 here, okay? Take a little longer. We have one more push to get through. Whoa, one more time, 90 seconds of work, and then we cool down, you can do it. If you need longer than 45 seconds to recover, pause the video. My arms were getting a little jello-y at the end. We can do it one final time. All right, plank to bear plank rockers. 
let's go. And again, to make them easier, come down to your knees completely instead of having them at a hover when you lower down. So it'll be knees lifted. Add in your march. Come on, you're 30 in, you have 60 to go. Hat in the knee tap. So when you're on your forearms, knees tap, lift. You're 60 and you have 30 to go. Woo, I'm shaky. Just the knee tap. Find that forearm plank position. Knee tap to finish. Push the mat away. Stay stable to your shoulders. Done. Oh, oh man, awesome work. Oh, let's find a child's pose. Knees wide, bum back to your heels. You can flip your palms up to the ceiling. Oh, and just take a couple deep breaths. Oh, that was tough. From here, bend your elbows and just pat yourself on the back. And to intensify the tricep stretch, if you walk it forward, walk your elbows forward and then shift the hips back, you'll feel more of a stretch. Straightening the arms. Let's come up to tabletop for thread the needle stretch. Weave left under right, bring your cheek to the mat and then walk your right arm forward and just breathe into your mid back. Walk your right hand in, press up other side. Walking that hand in, come through tabletop. Let's find a kneeling position. Gonna take a fluid side to side bend. So you can tempt one fingertips, reach up and over. Other side. Maybe you stay like this. Maybe you add in a little rotation. So you side bend and rotate chest towards the floor. Let's do one more to either side. And coming through center, let's finish with one final breath. We inhale, arms up. We exhale, release. Oh, and that is your class. Awesome work today. I'll see you next time.